everyday superpower where we talk body language, relationships, game, and everything in between. Status isn't attractive if you hold yourself as somebody who does not have that status. The characteristics and personality traits that come with an individual with status should be contrary to somebody who does not have status and this is in the realms of attraction so some may say I need status to be attractive to women or women would be attracted to me given I had status this may be in a hierarchical sense across the board whether it be the head of a family, the head of an organisation the head of a friendship group, a social group the leading numbers uh, in an online space, you know, you get the most views, you get the most comments you lift the most in the gym, you're the best tennis player in the uh, organisation you play with that's what we're speaking of <clears throat> why wouldn't the woman be attracted to the number one man but this is where this fine tuning comes in. What if that high status individual and we, if we've experienced life and been in workplaces and been in social groups and been in, you know, <clears throat> areas where there is a legitimate and honest hierarchy. <clears throat> How come there are men with status that showcase low status behaviours? Such as insecurities. Such as lack of self-belief. Maybe deriving from imposter syndrome if they have, you know, attained something worth being proud of. But once a woman starts to engage with this person, which I guess it allows them their foot in the door through their position, but once they start to communicate and engage and do so in a manner as to what is actually biologically repulsive to the woman, it goes to show it's not purely down to that. Whereas if the man who doesn't necessarily have much but showcases the traits as to which a high status man should have competence confidence a relaxed approach cause he is self aware and understanding a complete lack of insecurities he is well understanding of himself and who he is and what he can offer the world then upon communication that woman is going to be more fascinated interested and naturally magnetized possibly to him rather so than the insecure shambles of a man who holds a higher position Sure, she can be with the highest status man, but that doesn't mean she's going to respect him, and we know where that goes. If that woman doesn't respect him, it's not going to head in the right direction. It's going to be a headache for him, and he might end up losing out on a lot, to say the least. <clears throat> think about that right we can use the status or the money or the ownership to reel these women in but once it comes to engaging in communications with this woman and I say communications purely as it's not all verbal if somebody is not 
comfortable within their skin. Clearly, they're going to showcase that through their non-verbal behaviors and communications. If that is the case, then that status which was there has now just been undermined by a real faulty and problematic foundation. It's no different to the most handsome man in the world attracting women until he opens his mouth around that woman and showcases that he's got a lot of growing up to do. He's got to mature. He's got to showcase that which she is biologically wired to look for in men. You're the strongest man in that gym and that's incredibly attractive until you realize that that's all he does. He doesn't financially gain from that because he can't market that. He can't turn that into a business. I mean, he could do if he wanted, but he can't do that because he doesn't have the insights and the knowledge and the know-how when he goes back home after doing the one thing he loves, goes to bed at his mother's house, has had a run a dry spell with women to the point where he feels uncomfortable speaking to women and that isn't going to secure an effective tangent with a woman to build and create love down the line is it so people put a lot of pressure and highlight status like it's the be all and end all or at least it's one of the major facets that a woman is going to look out for yes I do agree but I don't agree as far as it being enough and I would say showcasing the not delusional not, not in a deluded manner but showcasing the characteristics and traits of a man who has that status whereas you literally don't that is more attractive to a woman and that is how you will hold a woman as opposed to the man who has it but doesn't necessarily have the psyche, the mental state, the uh, self image of a person you would be if you were in that position I know people with money and don't get me wrong, everybody's got issues and insecurities. If you speak to somebody for five minutes, ten minutes a day, you'll end up finding out flaws in their character and weak spots as to which a woman might find, you know, unappealing, most definitely. Well, it would be, you know, conceptual purely as we don't see the world through a woman's eyes, so we would apply our own sort of know-how, but you know where I'm coming from. I guess it's a case of fake it till you make it, but it has to be rooted in a secure manner. It's not a flimsy, false, fake. Mask of personality. It has to genuinely be you, and you can only do that by getting your hands dirty and being active and building and learning and understanding and having this life experience which creates these genuine self-belief and ambitious and masculine traits which will show that woman you'll be a good partner, you'll be a good father, you'll be a good carer, provider, whatever these women are looking for, yeah? That's just some food for thought. On that note, I'm going to sign out, so I'm uploading each and every day, so click like and subscribe. Down in the description, I've got two links. One of them will take you through to my catalogue of body language. 220 videos of how to read people through their subconscious behaviour. It's free of charge. It's a YouTube playlist. Second to that is the Patreon, where we will watch footage of real dates. I'll break down the attraction body language, the repulsion body language. You'll see it manifest in your day-to-day, -day, such as I do, such as everybody does. You'll internalise that, understand that, and you'll just know who likes you and who doesn't, to put a long story short. On that note, I'm signing out. Peace.